Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 4th of February. Uh, tomorrow is my birthday, by the way. I'm turning 24. Uh, but unfortunately, for personal reasons, I cannot celebrate my birthday tomorrow. So today, it represents that <laughs> it's the day that I'm celebrating it. However, um, so that's why I've booked a... Um, you know, like nice time in uh, spa in Moscow City, and I'm going to have a massage, and then I'm going to go to the hammam and sauna and all stuff. Basically, like a spa day. Um, I don't know what the place is like at all because it actually it's a birthday present. Um, so I am extremely excited, and obviously I'm going to be recording everything to share it with you. So stay tuned. Okay, our spa is just in front of the um it's called Asia Beauty Spa and um, we are planning to go there within an hour, more or less. So now we need to go and have so like um something to eat. Um and I would like to show you Moscow City. Come on, in the meantime. Guys, just in case you don't know what Moscow City is, it's basically the commercial and business center of the city where all the big mega rich companies in Russia are located. So guys, uh, we have come to this place that uh, is called um, Ramen Izakaya Bar, which is like an Asian um, restaurant in Moscow City, and we're about to have breakfast. So um, let's see what we can order, and then I'll show you. I would like to confess that I am a Japanese cuisine lover. So in case you want to invite me out, you know where to go. I loved sushi. Uh, what do we have here? We have some gyozu, we've got a nice ramen, uh, and then we've got um, uh, Japanese filtered um, coffee. And this is what is going to be our brunch. Obviously this doesn't seem like breakfast, but obviously it's too early to have lunch, so it's going to be a brunch. Now guys, it's time to have this tapioca uh, dessert. Um, so this is not milk, this is coconut milk and the white things, the white like um, bubbles that you see there basically is just tapioca. And that in many in the Spanish speaking countries they know it as um, yuca. <laughs> so basically this is made of yuca. Now this, I don't know what this is, I think it's melon or no pineapple, I think it's pineapple. Anyway, so Interesting flavor. Be kind. So now we are entering the place, the spa, and um, I'm quite intrigued to see the interior. Let's see, guys. Now, I want to say that the interior was quite nice and I was quite pleased. Unfortunately, the receptionist was a real unprofessional. She was extremely rough and she was shouting and screaming just because I did not find the door of the toilet. So this is something that is very bad and she's not professional at all. I do want to say that this machine, uh, the one that puts the pahili um, in your shoes, is the most modern I've seen in my life. So this is the place inside guys. Here we've got the jacuzzi. Uh, here we are. Uh, they give you this like rub, you know, and they give you like two. They give you two pieces of like um, underwear that is like um, you basically after the massage and the spa time, 
you can put it here like in the trash can and basically with this you can have your massage and you can go to the jacuzzi over there while i was recording there was this some random lady staring at me and she was making me feel extremely uncomfortable however let's get started Now it's time to go and check out the sauna. It's time to get rid of toxins. So now I am going to explain what you have to uh, have when you come to a Russian sauna. So basically you need to have your towel of course, uh, because this like turns extremely hot. So, so you don't want to burn your back of course. Uh, and then the most important is um, you need this hat that is made from um, the ship's hair, you know, like um, wool and um, and then you just basically put it on and then, why? because then you need to keep your head warm because in Russia, like, um, they believe that if you don't have a hat, it's bad and you might get like a cold anyway, you know, like, they're all the time talking about like colds, 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 colds. anyway so um in order to make this a lot warmer so what you have to do is then you have to grab this thing and then you pour some water over this tongue and then it basically creates um steam but as you can see there was not steam i just don't know what's going on with this sauna um and this is Moscow city imagine how dirty after having been in the sauna, I thought it was time to cool down, so I went for another swim. So now it's time to have some tea, guys. After having that nice cup of tea, I thought it was time to go and see the hammam before having my massage. Massage time, guys. So this is it. This is how I wanted to treat myself on my birthday and finally I did it. On the way to the exit, I was quite surprised because it was snowing on the street. I was not expecting this snow at all. To complete my day, I thought it was time to go and grab a nice cappuccino at one of the fanciest restaurants in Moscow City. It was absolutely exhilarating to walk down the street when it was snowing. The name of this restaurant is 60, and guess why it's called that way? Yes, you guessed it, it's because it's located on the 60th floor of this skyscraper. In order to access the restaurant, you have to ask the lady who is working at reception to use her electronic key. The good thing about this restaurant is that you may come without a reservation, like in our case.
and due to its high location, you can have a 360 degree view to the city. Unfortunately, as it wasn't a sunny and beautiful day today, you couldn't see much. However, I still saw a bit of the city. So guys, we've got now here our nice cappuccino and we're about to have it with a nice brownie. Uh, I normally don't eat this sort of things, but because it's my birthday, I can afford this. On the way out to the street, when I saw these guys, I felt like if I was in Manhattan. Do you get the joke? Manhattan, Moscow, anyway. So guys, it's time to go home uh, and uh, um, I think this is the end of my vlog for today. I really hope that you like it and please, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time on another adventure.